What's up, guys? Dustin New here, back with the Calgary Flames Gem Mode, and we're taking on the Minnesota Wild in the first round of playoffs. Yep. Let's go. Um, I didn't expect us to make the playoffs. I was trying to bomb the season, but we ended up making it anyways. We have three first-round picks and a second-round pick, which we're hopefully going to be able to trade. If we need to trade Poirier, we might do that. I don't know. We're going to see what happens at the draft. But anyways, we're here, and we're going to take on the Wild. I think we're going to get murdered. We made it in the... We actually didn't even get the lowest wild, wild card spot in the West. We got the seventh, like the seventh uh, seed, which is just insane. I don't know how that even happened. But, uh, yeah, let's look at the uh, matchup here. Like, look at these teams that... In the East that should have made it over us. But, I mean, whatever. It's the East, right? So, all right. Uh, so, Minnesota's here. We're down here. We'll try and... Uh, try and... I don't know if there's a way to really do a matchup properly. I'm trying to think here. OT losses? Nope. Um. Yeah, let's just go to points. That's oops. Points. There we go. Yeah, I'll just I'll highlight Minnesota, but we're like right there too. So, all right. So Minnesota was 46, 28, and eight. We were 38, 32, and 12. Uh, regulation plus overtime was 41. We had 34 points. 100. We had 88 somehow. Um, we had, like we didn't even have a bad season, you know. It was just surprising. Goals for 2.84 for Minnesota. Ours was a 2.49. Goals against. Uh, our goals against isn't even that bad either. Jeez, we did better than some of the teams. Uh, 2.39 for them and 2.62 for us. Power plays. Uh, we were 15.1%. They were 20.6. Uh, Shorthanded wise, 84.6 for them and we were 83.9. Other than their power play, like our special, like our PK is pretty close. Uh, home record, we were 15, 19, and 7. They're 23, 13, and 5. And away, 23, 15, and 3 for them. And we were 23, 13, and 5. We had a sick away record. Jeez. Last 10, they're 6, 3, and 1. And we are 4, 6, and 0. Oh. We, we kind of lost a few games there. But uh, coming down the stretch, we actually picked up a few wins, which was surprising. So let's do player stats really fast. Um. So Monahan had 59, Kuznetsov had 56, Barchi had 48, Backlund had 45. Backlund's actually turned into a stud so far. He's already in 83. Um, I think he started the season in 80, so it's pretty good. Goudreau hasn't gotten better, but that's okay. Uh, Larson's gotten a little bit better. I think uh, Murray's gotten better, too. He started off as a 78, so doing pretty good. Um, in terms of players, we had, actually, we had uh, five players with a point over two games or better, which is not bad at all. Honestly, it's pretty decent. Uh, good Levskis isn't that great right now. I mean, he's still a 69 overall, so I don't expect him to do that that amazing. But, um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, he played uh, 29 games in the AHL and 21 games in the NHL. So that's that's pretty decent, I guess. I'm hoping he improves. I don't think he played enough games, though. Uh, all right, so Minnesota. Let's go to all skaters here. So we had five players. Uh, Minnesota had six players with a point of game or uh, a point over two games or better, and we got to go to goalies here. I'm pretty sure Breeze Glove is going to be the starter, but I'm not 100% because it looks like Harding actually had a way better record, 25, 11, 1 and 2, but Breeze Glove's a better overall, so he'll probably actually start. But th again, they basically split the games, so it's hard to say. Um, yeah, Harding actually had way better stats, but who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, let's go playoff tree quick, and then we'll get into it. All right, so Edmonton, St. Louis, L.A., San Jose, Minnesota, Calgary, Chicago, Dallas. On um, the east, we got Tampa Bay, New York. We got Montreal, Toronto. We got the other New York team, the Islanders, and we got Carolina. And then we got Washington and Pittsburgh. All right. Let's do this. I Again, I don't expect us to do that great. We traded a lot of assets this year like a lot of uh, veteran guys to make room for a lot of young guys. So um, if we if we had Backstrom still, we might actually have had a chance. Wow, Barchi scored on the first shot. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, my God, Monahan scores. 2 nothing. Like I said, we're a bunch of young guys. We're basically like a, almost a junior team. Not not quite, but we got a lot of like 20-ish 20, 20 year olds. We got a lot of 18, 19, 20, 21s. Couple, probably a couple 22s. Um, what the hell is happening right now? Oh my god. 
Third period, 2 nothing. 10 minutes to go. 3 nothing. Backland. Oh my god. <laughs> and Goodlevskis is in his Olympic form. 23 shots. Uh, 23 saves. Shutout for Goodlevskis. 3 nothing victory for Calgary in game 1. <laughs> we walk into Minnesota with a bunch of a young guns, couple of probably probably a lot of rookies actually, and we just we take game one. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Well, I did not like. I, first of all, I didn't expect to make the playoffs. Apparently, some of you guys saw it coming. I I literally did not expect to make the playoffs. But now that we've won a playoff game, I'm mind I'm mind boggled right now. Like absolutely mind boggled. Goodlevsky's got a shutout. He's a 69 overall. Oh my god! I mean, I, it, you could technically see, I guess, our defense. We have a good decor, but I mean, they're really young. They don't. They're not high overalls, but they are pretty decent. But still, I don't expect to win this series. But I'm very, very surprised that we won game one. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, game two. <laughs> Jeez, how did we win? Oh man, this will probably be a, a much more realistic game, I think. Okay, Backland, one nothing. <laughs> Gregorenko, two nothing. Oh man. <laughs> Dear God. Okay, there we go. Palmanville finally. Two one. Might actually still turn into a realistic game, we'll see. Um I mean I'd love the Flames to win. If we could win. Charlie Coyle ties it up. If we can win, I'll be super pumped, but I don't expect to win. You know? Uh third period. Come on, Calgary. Let's try and steal another one here. Uh, uh, power play. <laughs> uh, we're going to OT. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, Goodlevskis. You got this, baby. You got this. Oh, man. Come on, Calgary. Ah, Matt Molson wins it in OT. 3-2 <laughs> victory. 39-28 through the shots. Okay, so we almost won two straight games against Minnesota, which they were the second best team in the West, which I, like I said, mind boggled. I don't even understand it. But, uh, you know, I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, we had a couple of really good games at the end of the season there um, against some good teams. You know, like we, as you can see there, we beat Vancouver 6 4. I think we beat the Jets, like, or no, we, no, we lost to the Jets. Sorry, that was a bad game. Um, but we definitely had some uh, close games there. Like, uh,. Uh, the New York game. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, maybe we didn't have very many close games. Some of the games we won were good, like solid wins, but then some of the games we lost were like, what? We got murdered. <laughs> All right, we're at home. The Red Mile's going crazy. Red. It's just a sea of red in the Saddle Dome. Can the young Calgary Flames take a victory? Take a lead? Oh, Mikhail Backlund. Why nothing? Or, sorry, Michael Backlund. Is it Michael? I think it's Michael. Sorry. I was thinking Granlin for a second there. Blah. We're playing Minnesota. It's acceptable. Palmanville ties it. Oh! Bayron. Or Byron. <laughs> I don't know how to say his name. I've never heard it said. He's got a Y, so it's kind of weird. Backlund, 3-1. to one. Backlund is a stud right now. Holy crap. Backlund is just tearing Minnesota apart. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Suter, 3-2, Calgary wins it, takes the lead in the series again, 2-1, <laughs> wow, <laughs> unbelievable, somehow we made it happen, made it happen, Captain. you know, we win the, win the game here, I mean, it's not helping our uh, first round uh, draft choices, obviously, not at all, but uh, Backlund is just, he's got four goals already in three games, oh my god. Jeez Louise, man. So we have a 2-1 series lead. Seriously, Backland. Oh my god. Goodrow has four assists, so that's good. Hold on, I just want to quickly... Uh, I want to see how our guards are doing really fast here. Uh, players, stats, playoffs. I'm just going to take a quick... Peek. I wish you could just scroll and look at your team in the main menu without after actually doing this, but... So Backland has five points in four games. Goodrow has four assists. That's pretty solid. Our first line isn't really doing much, but... Uh, all right. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so we have a 2-1 series lead. Game four. We're at Calgary still. The Red Mile's going crazy. See a red in the arena. 
Saddle Dome was packed. It's their first playoff since uh, they lost in the finals, I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm not I'm not 100% familiar with Calgary's playoff record. I probably should have looked it up, but I think they haven't really made the playoffs because I think after they lost, it was the lockout season, and then they didn't really recover after that. So, all right, 2-0 Minnesota so far. 2-0 third period. Oh, 3-0. There's Mikhail Granlund. That's the guy's name that I was thinking of. We're getting a lot of shots. We're just not scoring, which is surprising, actually. So we've been scoring quite a few goals. All right, 3 nothing, 4 nothing, 4 nothing loss in game four. All right, this series is interesting. That's that's for sure. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty, uh, I mean, like I said, I'm, imp I'm extremely impressed that we're in a tie series right now. 2-2, two -two? unbelievable. Like I said, we're a bunch of like 20-year-olds. You know, there's a bunch of 19, 20, 21s. Um, it's just freaking, un I just, you know, it boggles my mind. I think Goodlevsky's is 22, but, um, um, I mean, we're doing really good. Oh, wow, our HL team won, too. Jeez. I kind of want to see how they're doing in game one here. Let's check it out. Or was that, would that have been game one? Must have been, I would think. Okay, what is going on right now? What the hell is happening? Let's go, come on, Sim. Ah, I hit my elbow on there. Uh, okay, we lost four, three. Oh, wow, they're, they're taking on the Iowa Wild. <laughs> that's funny. The Minnesota Wilds affiliate is taking us on. Um, that's pretty, that's actually pretty humorous. All right, game five. Minnesota, they're at home again. Um, I, like I said, if, if we can steal this somehow, I will be just absolutely shocked. I'm sure Minnesota would be shocked, too, if that, if this happened in real life. They'd be like, what? How did Calgary even make the playoffs, for one? And for two, they're beating us, <laughs> you know? Palmanville, he seems to be their uh, go-to guy right now. Granlin. Granlin and Palmanville have just been putting up uh, goals against us. <laughs> yeah, game four was more of a realistic scenario that I figured would happen. This game so far has been, yeah... Parisi and Goodlevskis. This is a little bit more realistic as well. Although we have, yeah, there we go. I was like, we have like 25 shots and we haven't scored yet, which is kind of surprising. But on Brizglov, why you have to be mad? It's only game. All right, so we're down 3-2 in the series now. You know what? We're we're taking this pretty far though. Um, if this was a real, like I said, if this was a realistic scenario with these players, um, like in the playoffs. This year, uh, I think all the freaking, uh, like, all the broadcasters, everything, they'd be, like, all the analysts would just be like, I don't even understand how this is happening. <laughs> you know, they'd probably be absolutely shocked that this series is that close right now. As am I, you know. Uh, the Like I said, the last two games have been more realistic as to what should have happened. The, the first, like, our two wins were solid wins, and our loss there was pretty solid, too. But, I mean, it was an OT loss, too. If we would have won that, we would have been up 3 nothing. Like, that's crazy. But, uh, yeah, those were those were pretty realistic losses. So, uh, How did our AHL team do the loss again, eh? Okay. All right, so uh, do or die game six. I mean, like I said, a bunch of rookies. I, I'm i not really concerned about it. I'm not too worried. Um, I'm just happy that we were able to get that extra experience from the playoffs, you know? So, I mean, we're at home, too. We could win it, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy that they're getting these extra games in to get that a little more experience. Okay, Joe Colburn. Well, nothing. Get that extra experience, which is going to be huge, I think, for a lot of the progression. I think. I hope, anyways. I don't know. Like, Backlund is playing phenomenal right now. He's already got from an 81 or 80 or 81 to an 83, which is really good over the season. So, in the off season, I, I honestly hope he gets to an 85 at least. He might turn into an 86. Ah, oh, the all-star scores on us. 1-1. One, one. Late in the third. We couldn't hold on. OT. Game 6. Oh, Kuznetsov, 2-1, forces a Game 7 against Minnesota. Oh, my God. This is just unbelievable. This should not be happening right now. Oh, my God. The analysts are losing their minds right now in this game. They just can't believe that we just beat Minnesota again. The first, the top seeded in the Central Division might get upset by the seventh wild card. A team that literally traded away everyone. 
Um, oh no, no, back one's hurt. Oh no. He's back May 2nd. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's see if we can get him back quickly. If we try and. Yeah, that sucks. Oh man, that's brutal. We got to call somebody up now, too. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be Reinhardt, probably. Yeah, we're going to have to call Reinhardt. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, why did that happen? Offense, yeah. We got to put in Reinhardt here. Uh, okay, so Granland. You know, I'm going to put Granland up a line. Um, and we're going to put Reinhardt in there. Granland's gotten pretty good, too. He, he was like a 70 at the start of the season, which is just insane. He's already a 76. I think he's actually a, a, a three and a half red star, yeah. Like, he's actually progressing pretty well. I'm very impressed with that. Um, okay, where is Reinhardt? There he is. Got to get him in the lineup here. Oh, what the hell is that? I hate when it does that. Okay, let's figure this out here. Reinhardt, there we go. I think Ryan. I don't even think Reinhardt's played an NHL game. He's going to be like our... Uh, oh, no, he has. Okay, never mind. I didn't realize that. Um, he's going to be like our... Um, Let's put, uh, um, where is Granlin? There he is. Sorry, he was going to be like our, um, I keep saying he's going to be like our, our, uh, Darren Helm. <laughs> Four-man power play. You know what? I'm going to put, uh, like that. Uh, Granlin. Actually, you know what? Let's put, uh, Reinhardt there for PK, PK-wise. Reinhardt's going to be a good PKer, so we'll put him on the second one, though, because he doesn't need to be on the first one. Uh, four and four lines, put Granlund in there, but we'll switch them. Because um, that's a Brenner Galliardi. Oh, this third one's all messed up. Jeez. Hey, yeah, yeah, that's not good at all. Uh, let's put Reinhardt, and then right here we'll put Greg Aranko. Uh, extra attacker. Put Barchi in there, I guess. Good left skis. Ramo shootout. Yeah, like our oh man, our biggest guy is out now, so that's not good at all. Ah, uh, this doesn't even matter. We'll just put uh, who's not in there. Gregorenko. Let's put him in there. You guys have said you've never seen Gregorenko get better, so I'm hoping to prove you all wrong. I'm really hoping to prove you wrong. Um. Okay. So hopefully it doesn't keep simming. Stop. 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 Oh, I wanted to stop on the day. Son of a bitch. There we go. Um, let's see if we can upgrade our, um, oh, that's not what I want, a GM tracker. I'm going to see if I can upgrade our, uh, uh, medical quickly. How many do we got? How much points? Oh, yeah, perfect. There we go. I don't know if that'll make him heal up better, but it might. Like, he's only out for a few, oh, yeah. Eh, I think we're going to be out. Yeah, he's not going to be back. That's pretty early. That's okay. All right, so we're out our top scorer, Backland. Um... But that's okay. Game 7. We forced a Game 7 with Minnesota, which is just unbelievable. I can't believe it. This is, like, just crazy. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, I'm going to put down my controller and just, just ride it out. We're out shooting them right now, 11-4. to 4, So that's good. Second period. Uh, Koivu, the captain, scores. one nothing. We need Olympic Gudlevskis right now. That's what we need. Olympic Gudlevskis, we need somebody to step up. We need that first line, Monaghan, Barchi, you know, Kuznetsov. We need somebody to step up here. Oh, Godro. Oh, Godro ties it. 1-1 one, one in game seven. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Barchi on the power play. No way. No freaking way. Oh, my God. What an upset. The seventh seed junior Calgary Flames just took out... The first seed in the Central, Minnesota Wild. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What a win. <laughs> I can't believe that. I cannot. And we were out our top score, Backland. Holy crap. Oh, my God. The junior Calgary Flames just... Oh, my... I can't, I'm just shocked right now. Two third-period goals. Go, Dro. And Parchi. Oh, my God. Seriously, guys. Can you believe this? I can't believe this. I'm absolutely just shocked right now. Our uh, HL team's not doing very well, but that's okay. Uh, let's. I guess we'll see who we who we play right away. Um, after this day, yeah, we'll see. Our our HL team's probably done. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. You know, that's fine. Who are we taking on? Let's find out. 
The Chicago Blackhawks. Oh, God. Backlund's back in three days. He could be back early. It's hard to say right now. Uh, let's look at our stats. I can't believe we just did that. I literally cannot believe that. Like, again, I'll show you guys the stats or the standings. We finished 18th in the league, okay? This is like, and Minnesota, oh, Minnesota actually didn't finish that high. They finished 5th. But they had, they hit 100 points, you know? Um, and our team is just, St. Louis is way lower than us. So they finished 21st in the league. But still, oh my god. I cannot believe this. I'm so, like, shocked right now. Which sucks because, again, our draft pick is losing its its uh, value. Um, so seven games, Johnny Godreau, goal and five assists, just being a beauty out there. Uh, again, Backlund had five five points in six games. He could have gotten hurt early in the sixth game, though it's hard to say. Brody with four, Barchi with three, Erickson with three, Gre uh, Murray with three, Greg Rangel with three. Um, oh, my God. I just, oh, my God. I'm sorry the video is so long, but I cannot believe this just happened. Cannot believe it. Look at this good left. He's 1.93, 4-2-1, save percentage, one shutout. 69 overall goalie. Oh my goodness gracious. I cannot, I cannot even handle this right now. Um, I'm not going to do progression. I'll do progression at the end of the season. <gasps> Whenever we get uh, knocked out. Which I, pff, I don't even know if that's going to happen now. So, uh, San Jose swept LA. St. Louis, wow, St. Louis took out Edmonton? That's a huge upset as well. St. Louis was the lowest team, like I said. They were like they finished 21st in the league. Edmonton finished first. They took out Edmonton. Oh my God! I think I think Edmonton finished first, or well, they they won the West anyways. Um, Calgary, obviously, we just won in seven games in the third period. Last 12 minutes, we scored two goals. Take out the Minnesota Wild, and then Chicago beat Dallas 4-1. So we're taking on a tough Chicago team, uh, but all the lower seeds have been doing pretty good. Toronto. Uh, took out Montreal in seven. The Rangers took out Tampa Bay in f uh, five. Yeah, sorry, I don't know why I said that funny. Uh, the Islanders beat Carolina, and Washington beat Pittsburgh. So we got San Jose, St. Louis, Chicago, Calgary, Toronto, New York Rangers, New York Islanders, and Washington. Oh, my God. Two Canadian teams left. Let's see how we can do next time, all right? If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>